Summer, it's cold outside. Come in, grab your ridiculous elf slippers, and let's look at the 10 coziest PC games to play over the holidays. Right, now your slippers are on, let's make a lovely hot drink and sit by the fire. Ahem, I said, the fire. Ah, there we go, that's better. Mmm, feel its warming glow through your screen. If you do just want hours of this, hit the link on screen now. But we do have some cosy games to discuss. It's hard to define exactly what makes a game cosy. But if you felt the happy hygge feeling from a game as you snuggle up inside as the thermometer drops, you know exactly what we mean. Gentle busy work and menial digital tasks are the perfect way to hide from the wintry weather. Now sip that hot chocolate, yes I have one too, and let's take a look at the 10 coziest games to play over the festive season. I cannot thank you enough. Is there anything cosier than a game about making sure that a whole bunch of marshmallows get to relax in their own private, perfect hot chocolate? Nope, didn't think so. Maybe I should have put this entry at the end. Oh, well, too latte now. Marshmallow Day Spa is currently available on itch.io, and it's the hot cocoa simulator you just didn't know you needed. Every individual marshmallow, oh just look at them, needs their delicious bath to be at just the right temperature, have the correct type of chocolate, suitable milk and even the perfect topping before they can soak themselves. Cream and gingerbread men? What more could they want? It has to be said that the timer element and platforming make this a little more stressful than it could be. But if you can get to the end of this entry without immediately craving a delicious hot chocolate with whipped cream, you're a stronger human than I am. On the surface, a racing game might not seem the coziest addition to any list. But then, you play Forza Horizon 4 and the seasons roll around to winter. Now, suddenly, there you are in your cozy gaming chair, driving through the snow. Turn off the in-game music and give in to that desire to pop on driving home for Christmas on your favourite music service. Now, just try and imagine that they're static and not the slick oral clarity of 2019 as you you skid across the British countryside, only snowmen at the side of the road cheering you on. Pop yourself into first person mode on a slightly more realistic car and it's even more like real life as you navigate the slushy world. Suddenly you're thinking about those excited faces when everyone is finally together when you get home and wondering exactly how much cheese you can consume without falling asleep. Just don't try this in your own car, please or this. I know, Stardew Valley on another list, sue me. But few games feel as cosy to play on a cold day in a knitted jumper than Eric Barone's Farming Masterpiece. Whether you've played it for hundreds of hours already and are heading back in, or are just delving in for the first time, the sheer snugosity of these pixels is like a hug for your eyeballs as well as your soul. Sure, you could go down into the mines or play a game of Junimo Kart, but you could also just stay home and tend to your crops, head in and say hello to your animals, or just put up your Christmas tree, all while the frost sparkles outside. The repetitive, gentle busy work of farming life is perfect for a duvet day away from the madness of the festive season. Even the feeling of Stardew, with its soothing soundtrack and positive attitude, make it the ultimate snug game to help the world drift away. Is it even Christmas if you aren't drinking a caffeinated beverage with more than 28 heaped teaspoons of sugar inside a red cup? Exactly. So now, it's time to put yourself in the shoes of those making your extra hot, double shot, caramel, choc chip, festive latte. With foam. Cook Serve Delicious 2's Barista update was a piece of free DLC that arrived in 2017 and effortlessly makes all of your festive coffee making dreams, or caffeinated sleepless nights, come true. I will say that a shift at the Contrast Coffee Company isn't exactly stress-free, as you simultaneously try not to get too sticky with donuts and pressing waffle cones for stackable ice creams. However, you can always pop on a zen shift mode so there's no fail state, and you can just concentrate on making the most complex coffee orders of all time. But hey, they're the best in the world! You did it! 
And if you didn't get that joke, then my present to you is a recommendation to watch Elf. But only after this video finishes, obviously. It's a sad truth that there's not nearly enough official holiday DLC. There are plenty of the wonderful timed events where we get to throw snowballs or ride sleighs, but if you're perhaps away from your PC at those specific moments in history, then they're gone forever. Skate in, grubbins on ice then. The perfect holiday mashup from Costume Quest all the way back at the start of the decade. Here, just like a nightmare before Christmas, pumpkins meet snowmen in a wonderful holiday mashup. Charming exploration in the snow and turn based combat are once again the Christmas orders of the day. And there's even the small fact that, like all the best presents, it's free. The only downside, though, is that you'll definitely have to wrap it yourself digitally. Somehow. Merry Christmas? Once upon a time, when The Sims was in its infancy, we could have said that the speakers of Simlish weren't really anything like us. We could have said that they looked like humans, but that everything else, like poor bladder control and their lack of being able to enter a kitchen without causing a fire, was humanity at its worst. Now though, 19 years on, the picture is very different. Our Sims have needs, wants, desires, French bulldogs, just like us. And one of those desires is to be able to celebrate Christmas. Thankfully, The Sims 4 Seasons DLC does just that, giving you and your Sims the chance to spend the holiday season together. You can decorate with every festive bauble and trinket imaginable, clear the lawn of trees and install an actual ice rink. Oh, mind your… oh, never mind. Add prank presents and, of course, exchange gifts. And oh, you can also set fire to the tree. Maybe some things never change. You knew it was coming, this is my list after all. But hear me out, Assassin's Creed Rogue is the sneaky stabbing franchise at its cosiest. Sure, leaping out of haystacks and murderizing folks is still the main order of the day, but Shay's World is the chilliest, sparkliest, snowy offering we've ever had the honour of popping our hood up in. Assassin's Creed 3 also had its fair share of snow, but it's in Rogue where we can sail north to see the penguins and watch the northern lights sparkle across the sky, icebergs are scattered across the freezing waves, and our assassin turned Templar really doesn't last very long should you dive him Edward Kenway style into the briny deep. If the Creed isn't your open world of choice though, there are plenty of other freezing games to deliver the same cosy feels. All of your heroics in Batman Arkham Origins are accompanied by a pleasing blizzard. Or you could always head into Lego The Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter for some festive feeling digital wet feet and snowballs. See, it's not all just stabbing. Just mostly. <laughs> Admit it, I nearly had you. And for those who have already played Stardew Valley that little too much, there's the equally delightfully cosy farm together. This is so cosy, in fact, that it leaves all the snug resting to you, as it removes the need for a stamina bar and just lets you farm all day and all night. This means that time just disappears as you unlock more and more things to plant and build and watch crops and trees grow in real time. And it might take actual minutes and seconds for things to grow, but there's always something to do as you build houses or just make sure your animals are suitably fed and watered. Plus, if your farm is quiet for a bit, the whole together aspect of the title means you can head to your friends or complete strangers' farms to find out what yours could look like if you just gave up on having a social life in 2020. Oh, and hello turkeys. Sorry in advance. The name alone of this Skyrim DLC is cosy. Say it with me. Hearthfire. Ah, it's like sinking into a cosy chair in front of a roaring stove. Hmm, lovely. But it's not just the name alone here that should elicit all of those ultra cosy feels. For once, Hearthfire is nothing to do with questing to hit people in the knees with arrows and all about building yourself a little nest with an Elder Scrolls V. We won't make a millennial property joke here, but at least here you can own property and have your own staff in pretty much all the holds in Skyrim. 
This DLC is all about designing and maintaining your homestead, and you can even adopt children if you're family-minded. There's furniture to craft and even new food items for when you're sick of the sight of the same old cheese wheels and cabbages. Home, sweet home. Okay, don't worry. I hear you. Before I say anything else, I absolutely agree that Minecraft is not automatically cosy if you've got it on survival mode and are cowering in a hut listening to the sound of creepers and spiders without a cosy bed to hide in. But turn off the horror and crank up creative mode and suddenly this is an infinite world of opportunities that's more than happy for you to mine at night. With its mobs and nasties turned off, Minecraft is a giant universe of possibilities and hygge feelings. No worrying about monsters coming to attack you in your house, lakes to fly across, polar bears to wave to, no one to punish you for accidentally emptying your goldfish all over your brand new floor. This is your world. And you've got the power to build skyward or into the ground. And now you can even invite friends from all the other platforms into your enormous or cosy blocky den. Or just don't. It's entirely up to you. So that's the 10 coziest games you can play on PC right now in time for the festive season. Let us know your warm feeling favourites in the comments below and drop this video a thumbs up if you're already feeling cosier for the holiday season. Oh, and if you don't already subscribe to the channel, do that and hit the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss a single video from us in 2020.